As of April 2022, batch monitoring in FTIM has improved so that you can monitor treatments and fires by uploading a pre-formatted spreadsheet. Those who wish to monitor directly within the FTIM interface still can, but this new method streamlines the process for large fires. With this method, specify the fire or fires, download a pre-formatted spreadsheet containing all the necessary metadata and blanks for monitoring inputs, fill the spreadsheet, and upload the spreadsheet to FTIM. There are two methods of batch monitoring depending on how you choose to narrow your wildfire list. From the monitoring interface, which is best suited if you need to add or remove treatments for wildfires, and from the reporting interface, which is best suited if you prefer to create a wildfire list using filters to narrow the wildfire by agency, region, or unit. In either case, completed spreadsheets are uploaded back into FTIM from the wildfires tab of the monitoring interface. We'll take a brief look at these methods. First, downloading a copy of the spreadsheet from the monitoring interface. From the FTIM monitoring interface, Use the map or search bar to select a wildfire. Navigate to the Treatments tab and inspect the treatment list to ensure that all the treatments you need to monitor are present. You can use the Add Treatment or Remove Treatment buttons to adjust this list. Adding treatments is the most important step here. Uh, you can remove treatments in the spreadsheet later if you need to, but adding a treatment must be done here. When this part is done, you can navigate back to the Wildfire tab, select the fire using the checkbox to the left, and click Download to obtain a spreadsheet. If there are multiple fires in need of monitoring, you can repeat this process of amending the treatment list for each fire, and going back and forth between the Wildfire and Treatment tabs as needed. Once the treatment list for all the fires is correct. You can return to the Wildfire tab and select one or more fires from this list to be included in the downloaded spreadsheet. Depending on how close the fires are to each other geographically, you may check a fire and then lose sight of that fire in the Wildfire list as soon as you search for the next one. Uh, once it's checked, even if it's no longer visible on the list, it will remain selected for your spreadsheet. So if no other treatments are needed and you have all the fires that you need, you can obtain your spreadsheet from the Wildfire tab by clicking the Download button. Our second method of using filters from the reporting part of FTEM is best if no treatments need to be added. For this method of obtaining a batch monitoring spreadsheet, select the batch monitoring spreadsheet report type, and then narrow your results further by agency, region, unit, etc. This will provide a list of fires, which are all selected by default, and you can either leave all of these selected to include them all in your spreadsheet, or uncheck that Select All box and pick and choose the fires from that list as needed. In either method, the spreadsheet will be the same. The first sheet will contain a README file with tips on filling out the spreadsheet, and the second sheet will be the data entry portion itself. Note the red columns here. Uh, these need to remain unedited to prevent upload failure. Uh, these rows contain necessary information from FTEM, such as a fire or treatment ID number, acreage, dates, and other information. The green columns are open for monitoring input. And all of the required monitoring questions are represented here. Many will have drop-down menus for your answers, though some, like acres, date, and time, as well as the comments field, are completely blank. A few things to point out here. If you see a treatment in here that should not be, there is an option to remove this treatment interaction. 
Uh, the treatment data itself won't be deleted from FTIM, but that treatment will no longer be associated with that fire unless someone goes back in later and uh, manually adds the treatment back in for that fire. It's essentially the same as the Remove Treatment button when you're working in the FTIM Treatment tab. There's also an option here to replace data that may already be in FTIM. If some of these interactions were monitored at the time you generated the spreadsheet, that monitoring data will be in here. Uh, by default, this option is set to No, meaning that uh, any information already in FTIM will not be overridden when you upload the spreadsheet. But if you do need the spreadsheet to overwrite the data that's in FTEM, you can click Yes for this option. You'll also notice for interaction size that you'll get a warning if you enter an invalid fire size, for example, interaction size that's larger than the treatment itself. Uh, those can be helpful in preventing mistakes so you don't have to go back later. Uh, if you see those, you can just click out of that warning and make the necessary changes to that cell. Once the spreadsheet is filled in, you can upload it to FTIM from the Monitoring Interface Wildfire tab using the Upload button. A pop-up box will confirm the number of rows in which data has been updated. If all required data is present, you'll also have the option to complete monitoring for these wildfires as well. And those will show up in FTEM as completed and be viewable in that completed status on the map. So this is a pretty brief overview uh, for tutorials or other questions about this process. You can navigate to the Help Center, FTEM, Monitoring, and then the Batch Monitoring section, and that will have step-by-step uh, -step tutorials for each method, as well as information on filling out and uploading the spreadsheet, and troubleshooting information if you get any errors uh, as you upload the spreadsheet. And that is a brief look at batch monitoring in FTEM.